So confidence is the million dollar buzzword. Going on a date, just be confident. Giving an interview, just be confident. Delivering a speech, just be confident. Well, it's hard to be confident, especially when you're you and you're not the person that you envisioned yourself to be. I had troubles with confidence growing up. It's hard to be confident when you don't know what you're being confident about. But after reading tons of biographies and books on personal development, I have narrowed down four mindset shifts that will help you tremendously in being more confident. Number 1, acceptance. So the first one is acceptance and it should be no surprise to anyone. There is this myth that people have that confidence only comes to those who are extremely good at something. That's not true. You can learn to be just as confident on the stage as a veteran public speaker. You just need to learn the right mindset. Acceptance is the biggest step that you can take towards becoming more confident. There is absolutely nothing wrong with who you are, period. Yes, you have your flaws and yes, you may have your insecurities, but you as a human are inherently beautiful. And when you realize this fact, it is then that you can begin to accept yourself and your circumstances. A confident person knows that he or she does not need to be perfect. Moreover, you have to realize that nobody is perfect. Even the idols and the people you look up to have their flaws. And they're not confident in spite of it, they're confident because of it. Once you learn to accept where you are in life, you can begin to take steps towards where you want to be and that brings a tremendous amount of confidence. Number 2. Faking it till you make it. Affirmations. Now this is one of the more woo-woo-y tips in this list, but it has been shown that it can make a huge difference. Basically, you have to recite affirmations to yourself about how you want your ideal self to be. So for example, if you want to be more confident on a date, you could recite the following. I am a confident person. People like me for who I am and I constantly strive to improve myself. As your affirmation and you should repeat it twice in a day, once after waking up and once before sleeping. So the reason why affirmations work is that your subconscious mind takes cues from your conscious mind about how to make you feel. If you have constant negative self-talk and are continually hating your circumstances, your subconscious mind picks up on that and will make you hate life even more. But this means that you can also trick your subconscious mind. Simply start saying things that you want to feel. It will feel weird at first, but then a subtle mind shift happens. Every time you talk about not being confident, you will feel a weird disconnect between what you're saying and how you're feeling. Because you've been saying those affirmations for so long, you'll actually start to feel more confident. Trust me, just try this tip for a week and see how it feels. Number 3. Have things going for you, little victories. You might be thinking that it's easy to be more confident if you're a successful, good-looking person who has everything going for them. But what about me, someone who has nothing going for him? Well, that's where the next tip comes in. Gain momentum and have some things going for you. It doesn't have to be anything big. Just simple things like going to the gym every day can increase your confidence tenfold. You don't have to become a fitness model to be confident in how you look. You just have to put in the work to make sure that you're on your way to looking like your ideal self. Just knowing that you're doing everything in your power to move towards your goal will give you a huge confidence boost. Something I like to do is make a list of things I want to accomplish every single day in the morning and I make sure that they are tasks that I can realistically complete within the day. And then at the end of the day, when I look at the list and cross off everything that I did, I feel the sense of confidence in my ability to do whatever I put my mind to. You can start off small and just put three things on the list. Then as you get more and more confident, you can start to add more things to the list. And the last point is, habitually get out of your comfort zone. Now this is cliched advice, but it is absolutely true. Just push yourself a little bit every day. If you're sitting on a park bench and a stranger sits down next to you, talk to him. Our minds usually blow things out of proportion. Usually, the worst thing that could happen isn't even that bad. Think about it. If you're on the subway and you see a naked man who is acting completely weird, how long do you really think about it? A day? Maybe two days? But eventually you get on with your life and forget about that stranger. Which is exactly the point. Everyone else is too self-absorbed in their own little stories. You don't have to worry about coming off as creepy or crazy or anything for that matter. So if you don't have to worry about that, then you might as well just start being yourself. Do things that scare you. 
find people who are like you and go out and have fun. Just experiment with different things and push yourself. Once you habitually start being uncomfortable in daily situations to push yourself, then you also start being more confident. You realize that talking to a stranger isn't that big a deal, so you'll be confident in asking that girl or guy out. You'll realize that there are hundreds of opportunities in the city, so you'll be confident in the job interview because you can get another one. I need you to remember this. Confidence, just like any other muscle, needs to be worked. You aren't just born confident, it's a state of mind you acquire by living life through various experiences. And the faster you can get those experiences, the faster you can be more confident. So go out and live and you'll be well on your way to being more confident. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this different style of video I made. And if you did, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It will really help me out. If you like this video, click the like button. And if you wish to see more, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.